The power of good is more terrible than the power of evil. You know, it ain't Satan with demons coming back shooting lasers on people, man. It's going to be Yahweh Shai with his holy angels, man. That's powerful, man. Blasting people to nothing, man. <laughs> you know? And it's beautiful and it's terrible, man. That's terrible, all right? Everybody gonna be afraid, man. The Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. This is Job chapter 18, verse 11. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. Now this is going to happen to the so-called white man, okay? You so-called white people, you're going to be terrified, all right? Terrors will make you afraid on every side, okay? And you're going to have no place to run to, no safe haven, all right? Because your kingdom is going down, all right? And it's going to go down drastically, okay? You're going to lose everything, okay? And the whole, whole world will rise up against you, okay? And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. <clears throat> All right, first and foremost. We would like to give all praise on the glory on two. How will by Hashem we have up by Shum Kabadash? Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful they got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful they double leaders, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, with GMS Mississippi Camp coming with another, all right, weekly lesson, all right, for Monday night. And um, just going into prisons of hope, you know, being prisoners of hope. And one thing about it, you know, as we've been opened up to this understanding, you know, the Lord gave us the spirit, you know, the gift of faith, okay, then we believe everything that's written in the scriptures. And us, you know, and that includes the destruction. So if we believe in the destruction, he opened our eyes up to see, you know, the pending instruction, you know, they're pretty much made, made us subject to hope because we understand that everything that's to come is only one way out. Like if you have someone that's prepping, you know, food and, 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 and uh, you know, ammunition, they don't understand the full extent of what's about to happen. You know, they don't understand that that's, all right, there's no defense against prophecy. Like, this is the wrath of the Lord that's going to judge the earth. And when we understand these things, by, like I say, by default, it makes us prisoners of hope. You see, someone that doesn't have the full understanding, they think that they can vote their way into a better situation. They think they can prep their way into a better situation. They think by moving out of America that they somehow is going to escape judging. But nah, all right, hey, <laughs> we're subjugated. You know, to the mercy of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, we're prisoners of their hope that we find in the scriptures. Because the same book that, you know, 
tells us about the destruction is the same book that gives us hope. And a lot of time it's coupled, you know, right there together, you know, which we'll get a few of those examples, you know. But uh but yeah, you got it, bro. Um uh, well, I think the brother Yasha won right there. There you go. Shalom Ma Bashim Al Shabash Brakata. Good brother. Yeah. Oh, let's um uh, bro- let's get uh Revelation 15 and and two for the brother. Yeah, so you want to, huh? What's yeah, that, bro? Uh, bro? Yeah, before you get the uh, Revelation 15, can you get that word hope in um uh, in Google definition? Uh the word hope. Okay. Okay, kind of guys. Yeah, if you want if you want to say something, open up. If you want. Hey, hey, yeah, bro. Hey, shalom to, to the brothers and sisters out there. Um it's gonna go into it low when you edify, you know. Okay. Go to the point. All right, so um, when you go into it, let me share it real quick. So this that word hope in the um, Google definition. It says hope. It says a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. A feeling of trust. Now you go into the synonyms. It says an aspiration, a desire, ambition. A yearning, a craving, you know, um, yep, expectation. <laughs> you see, you got it, bro. Yeah, yeah now this is because the word went, the word is going out, and this is what we, we look forward to. We look forward to because we know that Yahweh Shemuel Shah is not a man that he shall lie, and all his words are true and faithful. And um, this, this yearning we have is for for our savior, you know. For the you know, as as us being the bride of Yahweh Shah, we're looking for to our husband to come and redeem us and you know to gather us uh uh back into himself, you know. You want that um the, the revelation 15 and 2? Come. Okay, come. Yeah, you got it, Yashua. The Revelation chapter 15 and verse 2. And I saw as it was sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the hearts of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. Yeah this is this is going into how the elect is gonna be basically gathered up because they did not they did not um subject themselves to this Roman Empire you know the image of the beast the mark uh, which is taking the karagma, you know, bowing down to uh to Esau Edom as 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 their as uh as their god, um, and and actually being called up into the chariots and seeing the destruction of the wicked, you know, which goes into um one of the things Yahweh Shai said he um he he's pleased with you know um one of those things being you seeing the downfall of your enemy. But uh, yeah, that that um that that seal mingle the sea of glass represents us, you know, sitting in the chariot and looking down upon, looking down on America, you know, in the up atmosphere, looking at the destruction of this place, watching the wicked receive their reward, while at the same time the righteous receiving their reward. Uh, and if I can add, bro, it was a time that we didn't even have a, a thought for those things, like we didn't even know what this was. You know, but now we desire these things. That goes into the maturity and the faith to where we have a desire. <laughs> going back into hope, you know, it goes into a craving, a desire. Now we crave, you mm-hmm. know, to see America destroyed. There was a time when we wanted to thrive in America. We wanted to be that nigga in America. Now this shows that we we're becoming old new men because now we desire. You know the destruction of this place, and we desire the righteous rulership. We have a shot, like we have an expectation. Like when we read these things, we start to envision ourselves, man. <laughs> you know, we start to envision us looking at this place. You know, after the destruction, man. After the nukes and your shot, man. You know, the brother got one for you, bro. Um, can you get um, uh, Yasha one? Can you get the Rock twenty five and seven? The brother Gashan. 
Seven and two guy, but you got the breakdown, home bro. Okay. This is the book of the rock, chapter 25, and verse 7. Yep, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that has joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Yep, yep, and that's that's one thing that um. Hey, hey how about Shmuel Shai? Is is happy for us, by and that's what we that's what we are happy in because everything that he want, we want, you know, and and to see the downfall of our enemy, that latter part, is is the it's the ultimate thing because we know when this when our enemy goes down, this this last enemy, we know that. We are on that rise, you know that qualm, you know. We on that uh, we are on the way to being those joint heirs with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Nobody, because at the end of this kingdom, another kingdom, when Israel is put into power, another kingdom will never rise again. You know, and as the brother uh, Ayash was going into, uh, you know, to expound on that, we we not. We're not looking forward to this guys continue these people continue to rule over us and, and because we know here we still last at the end of the day because we're still under these curses and <laughs> we're still suffering for the punishments because of our our evil doings, you know, as a nation. But ultimately, we want to be risen up out of that, and and we want to receive that righteous reward for being a, a obedient son, you know. Come on, brother. He got one more real quick one. Uh, mm -hmm. You can get some 91 and 8, you know. And like you say, uh, bro, um, we we don't have a mindset to look forward to this man continue to rule over us. Like the, the elder Ira uh, Wong out of Birmingham, he always goes into, you know, this, this doctrine is about a reason. And you can tell by people's actions all right, what their reasoning is it? You know, like if someone is going to vote, you can tell what their reason is. That says a lot about their reasoning. Like you, 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 first of all, you still believe, all right, in a goddamn joke, this whole vote thing. But then you still believe, even if it was real, you know, voting, all right, you still believe that Esau Edom is capable of doing right, you know. So that shows where you're reasoning it, mm -hmm. okay? So like you say, like your actions, you know, it display, you know, your reasoning, you know. Can I can I, can I say real quick? <clears throat> I just I just looked at the word reasoning. You know, the definition of Google it says the action of thinking about something in a logical or sensible way. So this, <laughs> they, exactly. people got them putting a trust. Like at the end of the day, they're not that bad. Like they can. We could turn this around, you know. I could still have hope or trust in this over here, you know. Thinking about them in a in a way that um, you you know what I'm saying that that, that far surpasses the intent of the one, you know. You're thinking about, you know what I'm saying. Like their actions, what these people are doing, is not lining up with how you're moving, which makes you you basically being gullible. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, if uh, oh, you got, you got. <laughs> I just want to kind of add some going back into uh, when the brother brought out uh, Ecclesiastes twenty-seven, I mean twenty-five verse seven, because it was said that uh, about the nine things that you know to be uh, make a man happy, man, and one was the joy of his children, and and this on this side, man, under the rulership of this uh, devil, man, we really don't enjoy our children, brothers who have children, man. Because the way Esau set it up, you know, he got, of course, you know, people being, you know, corporate slaves always working. He got the children inside these schools for, you know, eight hours a day. So by the time everybody get home, you know, then they got children trying to do homework, parents trying to, you know, get dinner made or take care of things around the house. You know, and preparing to do the same thing the next day, man. There's really no enjoyment, man. You know, then you have the weekend to come around, but when they come around, you really don't have the finance to really do what you want to do. 
especially if you got a nice ass family, man. So, you know, and now the, fast forward to with all the different things they got when it comes to like social media, um, just just all the electronic uh, outlets, people are disconnected, especially when it comes to family, when it's come to communicating, man. You know, so this devil has orchestrated a separation of families, you know, people all in the midst of trying, you know, saying he bringing his division, man. So when this devil actually uh, goes down in the righteous kingdom and set up, we're actually going to be able to enjoy our children, man. Because your children is your fruit, man. And you want to be able to mold them, groom them and grow them, you know. And then also not to mention how Esau used uh, Eve to uh, uh, get rid of the man out the house. Therefore, he was able to even manipulate the situation more. Because if the man was in the house, if the family was wholesome, you know what I'm saying, like it was, let's say, when our grandparents coming up back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, man, there was more stability, more order in the home, man. But Esau's narrative of what he did was disconnect the order. And by breaking down that order, he has been able to infiltrate, man. And by infiltrating, you see the results of the children now. Disobedient, hard-headed, you know what I'm saying, just, just out of control, straight monsters, man. But the downfall of this devil is in, in, in the and uh, Yahweh Shah ushering in that righteous kingdom is going to give us that position of enjoying our families again, man, and our children. Just want to bring that up. And that goes, all it goes back to uh, expectation, you know, it all goes back to expectation. So let's read, uh, read this one, then you get your point a lot. Okay. Let's, let's read this Psalm 91 and 8, and then a lot, you get your point. You got it, bro. There's a psalm in chapter 91 and verse 8. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You got a lot. Can I have one <clears throat> I have one land back off of oh what oh you mean y'all said about um these people <coughs> trying to look the other way and stuff like that for how they if you look in the other way, that means you're trying to oh clean gun to this place you know you're really trying to clean gun to the place because you don't want this place to end because you don't have no expectation after this place can you all please give me ecclesiasticus chapter 32 verse 17. says sirach 32 and 17. okay all right you can you can get, get that form This rock chapter 32 and verse 17. A simple man will not be provoked, will not be reproved or find it an excuse according to his will. Hey man. Are oh, you you can continue, bro? A man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, even when of himself he had done without counsel. Kind like <clears throat> these people would you know they would not be approved they don't want correction why because to them they are in their heaven they are in their heaven so these people <coughs> find an excuse to have this place to keep going like as the brother said all oh, earlier they ain't that bad well you have to go with the uh the lesser of two evils nah yeah, yeah. we have the, the elect the elect has a better expectation for life, as in with the uh, brother Lam Lamont was going into. We have a better expectation of life after this, and we're and we're we're bound by this. We're bound by that expectation. So we what? We're willing to change our mindset, change our reasoning, <clears throat> changing what we hope for, and, and that and, and that it changed our lives. It, ch it changed how we move, how we operate. I want to get that word definition of uh, since we're throwing that word around expectation. I just got it pulled up. Like I said, you can spound on it. Uh, spound on it, bro. <coughs> so this is that definition for expectation, for Google definition. It says a strong belief that something will happen will be 
be the case in the future. A belief that someone will or should achieve something. Um, yep. Then it also goes into one's prospects of inheritance. Mm. That's beautiful. We you see, and that's and that's truly the uh, the ways of you know the one hundred forty-four thousand the uh, rest of the one third. <clears throat> they're they're hoping in this. That's that's the complete faith, you know, a strong belief that is something will happen. We believe we we strongly believe that this place that Jacob's trouble is coming. We strongly believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua will protect his his men and his uh his his men and his um his uh, daughters through uh miracles of spiritual power. We strongly believe that these prophecies are coming to pass as scripture has said. And by believing this, we strongly believe that America, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed by thermonuclear fire and fire from the chariot of the Lord, and that the elect will be beamed up. You see, this expectation is completely different from what the world believe. You know, they don't believe that, you know, an angelic power, an angelic God is going to come, save his people, and what people will call UFOs, and uh, beam them up before, you know, the new kid to them. That's ridiculous. But that is the elect, the elect's expectation. And we're and they and they are bound by this. They have made themselves prisoners of this of this thing. <clears throat> you got um, it, bro. Um, yeah. Hey, beautiful saying, bro. You got young yeah, you If I may add, like you know, we're prisoners of the things that we believe in that we believe to happen. Hey, because it's the only thing we can see. That's true. You know, it's the only thing that we can actually see that makes sense. And because once you start, once once you awaken. You see everything around you, you know, like coming out of that matrix. You see, you see everything around you when it's being exposed, when it's being broken down, how this is not enough with this, how that's not enough with that. And and what's the only remedy? Because everybody's sick, right? What's the remedy for this place? This hey, it, it must be thrown down, you know, and, and that's what we look forward to. See the end of the end of the um your your your, your the, the video that was played in the introduction. The, the end of it was uh Babylon on fire, mm -hmm. you know, and um and that, that went right into the lesson. That was beautiful, mm -hmm. and um and 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 that faith, faith and hope hand in hand, you know. Hey, I got a quick one for you, bro. Um, you got it. Yeah, Yasha one get Matthew five and uh six Bible show. You said five or six? Yeah, the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse six, Bible show. I'm gonna say you got it, bro. This is Matthew, chapter five, and verse six. Matthew, five and six. Lest are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. Yeah, that's the point. You got it, bro. Hey, hey, yeah, and right. Blessed are those um <clears throat> Matthew 5, which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, because this is all we desire. We desire the righteous things that Yahweh by Yahweh Shah uh deems righteous, you know? And and <coughs> and um and the Lord said we're gonna be filled. You know, because at the end of the day, this is all we're gonna get. You know, at the end of the day, we're gonna we're gonna get all those righteous things because they gonna they must come to pass. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make sure that they come to pass. And in the scriptures say, um, it is a righteous thing in the eyes. What is it? It says it's a righteous thing to how about some y'all shot to recompense those that trouble you. Mm -hmm. And hey, this man troubles us and and even two thirds of our people on this side, but at the end of the day, all every how about Shemuel Shah got everything uh put in place to where it's gonna it's gonna be dealt with, you know? It's it's gonna be dealt with and you, you got the, the the wicked uh which is Esau and the wicked of our people 
hey, they're going to, they're going to, they all got their judgments. How about Shemel Shah is going to put upon them? But before all this, they're going to know that a prophet had been among them. You know, they're going to know it is because of this. This is happening to you. It's because of you don't, you, you, you've done this. This is happening to you. You know? Um, yeah, so bro. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Revelations 18 and um, Revelations 18 and we started four. Revelation 18 and four. Okay. Uh, 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 but yeah, uh, yeah, you can read it. <laughs> you get it, uh, Yashua. It's a Revelation chapter 18 and verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin, and that you receive not her plea. Yeah, 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 going into us, um, come up out of her or not receive her place, going into the this, this uh the, the mighty uh the great Babylon that, that we don't receive of those the ultimate plagues, which is gonna go into those thermonuclear missiles, you know, calling us up into those chariots, you know. You got it, bro. You want to keep going on it? Yeah, come on, keep going on it, bro. Okay, you got it, Yashua. For well, her sins have reached unto heaven, mm -hmm. and Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai has remembered her iniquities. He remember he remember all her iniquities, including what he have what they have done mm -hmm. unto the apple of the Lord's eye. You know, and all this is going. It just piled up. It just piled up and kept piling up um, until hey, it was it was no more. It. it <clears throat> How about Shemel Shai? He's like, hey, that's, that's enough. Enough is enough, right? And, the, and then, you, you got it, bro. If you want to keep going on that, just probably two more scriptures, I think. Huh. Mm -hmm. Reward her even as she has, as she rewarded you mm -hmm. and double unto her according to her works. And the yep. cup which she has filled, filled to her double. Yep. All, all that, everything we went through, through everything we went through, uh, everything these devils put us through through slavery, uh, all this, yeah, how about Shemel Shah is gonna put it back on the, the heads of these people, you know, the our enemies. With that, that next scripture, I can't see you scroll up a little bit, bro. You want to uh, keep going, that, that's, that's that's good right there. But yeah, hey, all these people, um, at the end of the day, that 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 um the elect is gonna prevail, it's gonna be through Yahweh Shai coming to get his elect. He's coming to get his bride, you know. That was preparing them, we're preparing ourselves uh, ourselves now for him, you know. Through through all this, through all this uh shit that's happening in the earth, and um and everything that's going on. The elect is taking the time out to say, "Hey, you know what? We got to get ourselves ready because Yahweh Shai, our 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 husband is coming as a thief in the night. We don't know when he's coming, so it's better to get ourselves right for him now. So when he come, he just <laughs> sweep us off our feet, you know." I got um, another brother. one. Um, yeah. That was yeah, it on um, there, bro. You want something else? Yeah, I want something else, bro. Give me uh Matthew 24 and verse uh 22. Matthew 24 and 22. Okay. All right. So yeah, you got Yashua. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you have a shot short in these days. Hey, for the elect, hey, the elect, this is um, let's call this is uh, like a romantic story, you know, of um, of of the enemy being destroyed, the one that that uh took you <laughs> capture, you know what I'm saying, and then your savior coming, you know. Your savior coming to get you and reconciling you himself and making you uh perfect, you know, to be joined back unto him, giving you everything, giving you everything that's gonna keep you 
with him forever, you know, which is our power. You know, you know how the women, the women like, you know, that, that novel or, or the, the romantic, you know, the scene where she be saved out of all this distress, this trouble, you know, we look, we, as men, we look forward to that because hey, we, we know that Yahweh Shah is the only way up out of here, you know. They risk, they great rescue. They're con. Mm -hmm. That uh that that re that redeemer con, yep. <coughs> Brother had anything? Oh uh, yeah, I got. Uh, well, you got some uh, Halak or Lamar? Yeah, I got some. Um, you go bring yours up, bro. You good? You had some Halak? Con, just a quick one. Oh, uh, Romans, Romans eight and nineteen. <coughs> Mm -hmm. uh, you got it, Yashua. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the Son, Yahweh Shah. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who had subject, subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption to the into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh Shah. Ah, uh, you got it, bro. Kind of, like, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and we are all waiting for this. We're all waiting for this, not just the, you know, the uh, one third, but all of creation. You know, all of creation is waiting for all uh, this to happen. You know. We have this expectation that the world, that creation is going to get better, better than it was at the first, you know? We're, it's gonna be, it's gonna, because the world is gonna, uh, right now she's in, she's in like a stagnant dead state because of how uh, Esau Edom is destroying the world. You know how Trina has you just keep taking and taking and taking without rest, without remorse. But order is about to be set again, and we, you know, we're we're hoping in this, not only us but the creatures. Oh, I know it's a scripture that has said, uh, roughly paraphrasing that the uh fir tree is gonna say there has no <laughs> fellow come against me. They rejoice. Yep, yep, yep. Kind, it's like the earth is waiting for this man to be done with, you know. And waiting for the sons of God, the sons of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Al to, uh, you know, to uh, come in their office, to truly come in their office. So, so what? Creation can go further. It can recover and go further. And this is what we're hoping for. But the world that we're in denies it and rejects it. You know. Yeah, like we really, like, like we have to understand. With Esau, remember the Lord hated Esau. So even though Esau has, you know, this kingdom of convenience, all right, it's still he he. he we're not witnessing the full wisdom of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah on display. I got to yeah. talk about how there are yet there there are many things that be hid. You know, if I can get that real quick, uh, Yashua one get that in. Uh, I think it's. Let me see. It might be Sirach 42. I had one for you too, Rock. Okay, con. Uh, you can go ahead and get your bro while while I look for that. What you have, bro? Uh, this the uh the go with what you just said, uh talking about Esau. Uh this is Malachi chapter one and verse three. And I hated okay. Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we have improvised, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Like you, you're talking about hating Esau. And it, yeah, and it said we are impoverished, but we will rebuild the <coughs> desolate place. And you keep reading, bro. Finish it up. They shall but, build, but they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh Shai has indignation forever. 
So yeah, yeah, and yeah then You gotta unmute yourself, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about Shamel Shah have an ignition with these people forever, man? You know, even though they continued, they came back and tried to build, you know, um, after he had taken them out of power for a short time, and, and they came back, how about Shamel Shah to, hey, I'm, basically he not through with them, you know? And then it, this is going to be forever thing. Uh, uh, like, they, 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 they got a perpetual hatred for us, right? How about Shamel Shah got the same feeling towards them? You know, <coughs> to where hey, at the end of the day, they gotta be one less nation. You know, on the on the on, on the table of nations in the earth. It's all because they have been they have been made to be destroyed. At the end of the day, they were made for our for our um for our iniquity. They were made to be a punishment for us. Kind of, kind of, exactly, bro. <laughs> like that nigga, that nigga is, is a you know. Because you got certain tools, you know, because I know you're a brother, you know, you work with a lot of tools, you know, you got certain tools that just got one job, Phillip head, screwdriver, you no know, flathead, you know, <laughs> a socket wrench. Hey, you that see? 10 millimeter, God damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got certain tools, all right? Hey, it's like Esau, he the perfect, you know, socket wrench, <laughs> put pressure on Israel to tighten that ass up, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the Mosai, use this nigga to tighten that ass up, man. He was that perfect too, you know. That's why he. That's why no one knows us like Esau Eden. You know these heathens like there's no other heathen that's just infatuated with studying. Like this nigga studies how to destroy Jake. Like no other heathen is obsessed. Like the heathen want to take you down and conquer you, okay? But Esau is like infatuated. Like he's obsessed with like the destruction of Jake. Like this nigga was just built, you know, for that man. Like, like you said, bro, I found that too, um, Yasha one. You can get that in um, Sarat 4.43 and begin at verse 30. And then, Lamar, you still got one? Uh, yeah, but, but I, I really want to just finish out that, that Romans, the eighth chapter that the brother Halava brought out, verse 22 on down to uh 25. Okay, we'll get back to it. Uh show, bro. You can bring that out real quick, uh, Joshua. One, what was that 43 and 30? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a rock chapter 43 and verse 30. When you glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, exalt him as much as you can, yep. for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for you yep. can and never see, go far enough. And see, we so used, you know, to limitations in this kingdom, you know, like this is a kingdom of tight restrictions and limitations you know the fact that you you know because people get so uh, uh worked up about a net worth you know somebody got a hundred million dollar net worth well that when you really look at it that just shows that he has limitations you know because there's guess what he has a hundred million dollars but there's a hundred million dollar problems out here <laughs> you know like there's hundreds of million dollars being spent every second so People be infatuated with like, you know, just giving an example, somebody with net worth a hundred mil or bill. Well, guess what? That just shows how restricted he is, man. Okay. You couldn't you you didn't know the net worth of, of King David or King Solomon. You, you couldn't you couldn't uh calculate their net worth. They just had abundance. And see, that's what we're going back to abundance, and that's why we should be serving you. How about Shima Shai? You know, <laughs> with all our strength, man, because he finna open us up. You know, like I that's another thing, like we have a different we start to develop a different scale of expectation, you know, as we learn uh about you how about Shima Sha. You got it, bro. Uh Sirach chapter forty three and verse thirty one. Who has seen him that he might tell us and yeah. who can magnify him as he is. Okay. There are yet here greater things than these be, for we have seen but a few of his works. Yeah, we have seen but a few of his works. Because the Lord is not going to allow Esau access to, you know, this wisdom that he has reserved for his sons. You know, there's a lot, you know, that he got reserved for the rulership 
of his sons beginning with Yahweh Shot. You know, there's there's foods we haven't tasted, there's colors we haven't seen. Okay, we haven't seen fine yet. You know, we look at you know a woman like we ain't seen that yet. Like we there's things we haven't seen, like we ain't seen a woman in her perfection. Because everything that we got, everything, you know, even us is defiled. You know, we haven't seen our minds operate in God mode. Like we haven't seen these things, man. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things that are here. And like I say, when we start to think like this, you know, this devalues this society and this kingdom and everything into where you don't you look at nothing, you look at everything with no value here because we got so much more to look forward to. We got so much more to see, you know, and experience, man. You know. But that, that's all I have, bro. Uh, hey, I got one. Um, this is this is Matthew twenty six and twenty nine. You know, like you were just going into, it, bro. Even um, how shall I say? Uh, but I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Mm-hmm. So hey, even even it's gonna be wine that we haven't tasted. We're gonna, you know, it's gonna be the, the best of the best. How about Shamel Shot got reserved for his elect for his elect the best of the best, man. Yep, and, and, and you can when you I mean that that actually made me think about the even the other worlds he got, you know, that he got uh in store for his elect. Mm-hmm. That, that Esau can't even go out and you know explore, you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Because at the end of the day, it's about being part of that uh, that 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 grip of the cluster, man. You know that that mm-hmm. they that, that elect that remnant, the ones he that he got. Say, we want you got it. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. No, I'm just I, I was done, bro. Yeah, the one he got reserved to himself. Yeah, we want to see at the table. You know, like yeah. we want to literally be. He at the table with you, how was shot? <laughs> you know, like, you know, we just got a different expectation, you know, like, to this world. That's why, you know, you how was shot told the, 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 the wicked scribes, Pharisees, chief priests, he was telling them, niggas, look, I'm from above, y'all from beneath. Like, y'all expectation is beneath. Y'all, y'all cool with being do boys for the Romans, because that's what the niggas was, man. You know, and you look at the, the, the richest. All right, most uh, uh uh you know popular celebrity, okay, they're nothing but do boys, and it's and that's why it's coming out like it is now, which we knew, but the Lord just you know hey 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 putting it out there, man, even more. All right, these boys are do boys. I don't care they got a billion, ten billion, they're do boys to Edomites. You know, uh, it don't matter how much they got, the women they got, they getting leftover American. Uh, 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 trash, you know, the women don't okay, care how she look is left over trash, and these either mice that did all type of you know madness to these women, and these niggas is you know moving around like they got it. You how a shot told them they're like, Man, look, y'all from beneath, man, y'all happy with being do boys for the Romans. I'm talking about the ruling existence, I'm preaching the gospel of uh, eternal kingdom, and you niggas, okay, is trying to protect. You know your, your 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 position under these goddamn Romans, man. The base people of the earth. You know, like that's why I say, like with these celebrities, you know, like you really lose. It's like another level, n- another level of respect that you lose for these niggas as we understand more. You know what these niggas are involved with, like man. That's why uh 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 uh, uh with none of these rap lives, I ain't listening to rapping about two months, man. I don't want to hear nothing them niggas got to say, man. Nigga can't tell me nothing if it, if you get if you if you get ran through, okay, by other men. Hey, ain't nothing I want to hear from you, man. The only rapper I'm playing is Brandon Jamal. That's the only rapper. That damn. <laughs> It's on the rotation, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Y'all niggas, man. Oh, yeah. Y'all got it, bro. You can say something like I just want to land back on oh, like what you said. It's like we, we're dealing with the same people. These people are okay 
or in love with being in in, in debt to this man. Cause this that's what they basically live in. The people they they living in debt. You know? Can you uh can a brother give me Proverbs chapter twenty two verse seven? <laughs> Proverbs twenty two. You got it. In Proverbs chapter twenty verse seven. The just man walketh in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. Is it twenty-two and seven? Twenty-two and seven? Oh, oh I did twenty and seven. Right. Proverbs chapter twenty-two and verse seven. The rich ruleth over the poor. And the borrower is servant to the lender. Borrower is servant to the lender. You see, when they sign these contracts, they give it all this money, but now you become a puppet. Now you now you become a slave. But now your mind is conditioned, conditioned into loving, only having the crumbs off this man's table. When you, I was shot came to give you, to serve you the whole platter, you know? The, we, we're living in the <clears throat> dealing with people and that's in love with having less. You know? That's in love with having less. They have no they have no expectation for nothing greater, you know? <clears throat> but basically, they can just uh... Tools, yeah, they um, they pretty fuck you got this term. Uh, you got this term. It's called uh, man, fact, cause this is all these niggas. Oh, let me share the screen real quick. This is all these niggas is man. I don't care uh how many times he went platinum. I don't care how many billions this nigga got. How many women he got on the on the screen. This really. What these niggas are, man. So you go into this word uh exolite. Uh it says as with the Greek language, different terms were applied to, to male sex workers in the Roman Empire. Male sex workers were referred to as exolite, while younger sex workers were known as curé, delicate, and uh catam uh was it Katamati? Katamati. And this is all these niggas are in the industry, man. You know, they're nothing but uh, uh, uh little prostitute boys for the for the uh, uh for these Romans, man. These old uh, uh uh Roman Edomites, man. Okay, so what 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 expectation is that? What type of expectation is that? Okay, like you if you say a 15 year old Jake and you you want to start a rap career, well, that's where it leads to. <laughs> like I don't care how cold you think you is, and, you know, no, nah, it all leads to the same defilement and wickedness. Okay, you gonna get the same <laughs> leftover women that the, all the mother niggas had. You know, you, 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 what else is it? <laughs> what else expectation do you have? You gonna get? You gonna have the same car, just a new model? You know, you gonna have the same car, just a new model? And it's just gonna be the same, you know, BS, <laughs> you know. But yeah, you got it, bro. You still want to get that Romans eight and um twenty nine Lamont? Uh, come, on, come, on, bro. Did you, you had some uh, uh, eight and twenty two, twenty two down to twenty uh five. All right, then after that, uh, you can you can get ready, you can get your clothes and presets after this, um, young guy. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, you got it. Um, Yashua one, Romans 8 and 22. This is Romans 8 and 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now, and not only and that's going into like everything, man. Everything, you know, that's why when you go into Proverbs, the um, 29th chapter, it says that, uh, uh, when the when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Okay, nobody is really rejoicing, man. Okay, if uh, it goes into uh, 
how the fir tree is going to rejoice <laughs> when this man is taken down. The fir tree is not rejoicing now, man. Everything is sighing and crying, man, because everything is out of whack and out of balance because it's ruled by wickedness, man. You got it, bro. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Right, man. So we sighing and crying every day. We're complaining every day, man, to how about me outside of all the wickedness that's going on in society. You know what I'm saying? All the abominations that's happening, man. And you know, and, and we're sighing and crying about it, man, because we have to deal with all kind of elements. We getting sick in this place, you know what I'm saying? It's it's everything is against your health, your livelihood, you know what I'm saying? So we, we sigh and cry about this, man. You know, and, and we, we're, we're hasting to return to Yahweh Shai, man, that where we can receive those new bodies, you know, that deliverance. We ain't going to be dealing with being sick no more. You know, how the scripture goes, say that uh, how we should uh, run and not get weary. You know, we're looking forward to that, man. That's why we want Yahweh Shai to return, man. That's why we believe and have hope. You know what I'm saying? That the Lord is going to uh, stick to his word. And we know he is, man. We know he's going to stick to his word. But it's all about that, that that patience, man. Okay? It's all about understanding that prophecies have to be fulfilled. It's, it's about understanding that the Lord will will be done. Okay, all his uh uh all his all his uh prophecies will have to come to pass before the return of Yahweh shot. But we still have hope and we're gonna continue to sign cry until you know saying that day come. You got it, bro. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man sees, why does he yet hope for? Right. So if, if that, you know, and they set up people like what Martin Luther King, they set up uh, Malcolm X, you know, just these particular people, man. And then the ultimate thing they're going to put for, for people to have hope in is that Caragua, man. But these are things you're seeing. So if, if you, uh, you don't have hope, and things that you're uh, physically seeing, man, to uh, uh, restore you or deliver you, okay? That's that's not according to the scriptures, man. Okay, that's not real hope. Okay, hope is, you know what I'm saying, is we're going to believe in something that's going to be made <laughs> manifest, okay? That's going to be made good. And the Lord said, if I have not said it, will I not make it good? You got it, bro. Likewise, in the spirit, did I finish 25? I'm going to read 25 again. Uh, verse 25. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? And what is the one of the things we're waiting for to see? You have a shot crack those clouds, man. Okay? Come through in that, that fathership with the heavenly host of angels. That's what we hope for because when we see that, man, we know that, that it's, it's, it's time, man. That deliverance, okay. The Lord said, "Well, His elect is scared to be saved." So we gonna know that it, it's it's rap, man. I mean, we know it's a rap now, but but because we see the manifestation of of prophecy coming to pass, but that 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 that, that undeniable uh, uh, belief and hope and faith is gonna be truly magnified. When we see that chariot, man, when you have a shot, crack them uh, clouds, man. That's all I got, bro. Come brother. Well said, brother. Uh, what you got, young yacht? Let me get Matthew 24 and 30. 24 and 30. Go ahead. <coughs> mm -hmm. All right, you got it, Yasha one. Here's Matthew chapter 24 and verse 30. And then shall appear the sign. Of, yeah, okay. Come. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. You got it, bro. Continue, please. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall, and they shall gather together his elect. From the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Yep, and, and, and the elect is going to be gathered, all because why they did not 
they stay um grounded they, they built their house on the rock you know the rock being your high was shy and not giving in to these seducing spirits nor anything that could take away their salvation you know um i had one more which is going to be like you know the closing little one there was revelation 14 and 4. Revelation 14 4. Uh, you got it. Uh, you got Yashua. Revelation fourteen and four. These are they which were not defiled with women, but going they are those, virgins. It's like it, bro. Going into those um, defiled with women, going into those different philosophies. You know, those seducing spirits de deriving you from your salvation. You know, even from your how about Shemir was shot. You got it. These are they which were not defiled with women. For they are virgins. Mm -hmm. These are they which follow the lamb with us wherever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto your well, unto your hour and to the lamb. Yeah, and th those first fruits are going to ba basically. Um, it's like Yahweh Shai created those hundred and forty-four thousand <laughs> from the foundations of the earth. You know, and, and those are his friends. You know, then it's hence John John fifth. Uh, 15th chapter mm -hmm. yeah so at the end of the day how is coming back for those that were with him from the beginning you know mm -hmm. and, and and those that was with him from the beginning you got the seat at the table we just hope that we be part of we be part of we hope that we are those men trickling down to those women and children and those even men that all those that are helps Everybody, how about some shot gonna have mercy on? Yeah, pretty much like your uh, your how shot day ones so they like say nine day. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. And that's you know, there's a spirit because everything coming back full circle. You know, like when you go to Genesis one and one, when it says in the beginning, you know, it talked about the Allah Hayim, you know, but the beginning, you know, goes into first, you know, the chief, and they were talking about your how shot and those first fruit spirits you know so those spirits that was back there with you how was i creating everything all right they um uh uh, uh, uh are going to be the ones that's going to rule with them all right and he, for for eternity you know so everything is coming back full circles man lord will we of that number all right we if we are those first fruits man we was back there you know up and create everything man this is why we have such a care for this is why you know and you can tell like brothers had um their own specialty because everybody you know ain't no telling what brothers help you know create things that's why you have brothers that have you know more liking to ocean animals you know some brothers got more liking to you know the, the stones you know some brothers have a, a, a liking you know to the family dynamic you know, because Lord will, if we were that number, we was back there creating everything and the concepts and, you know, we were your house shot created. So who better to rule it? You know, like I said, I know the, the brother, young guy, he worked with his hands, you know, and I know, you know, he can, he can, he, he can attest that the best way to understand something is to break it down and put it back together. <laughs> you know, like, so who, who best, you know, to run the earth and the men, you know that they, they, they put it together from the beginning. You know, come on, bro. Uh, any any anybody else had some, bro? I had one more, um, and we can end with this, uh, brother. If you can get Psalms 20, 27 and thirteen and verse fourteen. It's a Psalms 27 and 13. It says, I had fainted unless I had, yeah, okay, Psalms 27 and 13. Yep. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of Yahweh Shemuel Shai in the land of the living. And this is the only thing that's keeping us alive. 
this is the only thing that keeping us from going insane, you know, just wilding out, you know, on some rampage type shit, you know, is that we have the expectation, you know, to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Like the Lord, he wants the earth to flourish. He wants us to be fruitful and multiply. He wants, you know, his sons in order, the women in order, the children in order, you know, he, 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 he wants all these things. Like I said, it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. So, our expectation is to see, you know, the Lord's intention from the beginning, you know, play out, you know, his goodness play out, you know, and he gives us a look samples of his goodness now, you know, and it just make you want to see it on a larger scale. Cause even the brotherhood, you know, the way that, you know, we link, you know, the way that we maneuver, you know, around each other, like we want to see that on a larger scale, you know, a permanent, you know, scale and it's perfection. You got it, bro. Verse 14. Wait on your how about you, I will shy. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on your how about you, I will shy. That's all we have. We prisons, we, we, we subjugate the waiting on what else we gonna do. <laughs> if you think about right. it, what, what else can we do? What what you gonna do? Like on this question, like what you gonna do? The the, the World War Three coming. The devil finna come with the sea hill to cr crash the economy. He finna push more <laughs> out of the nukes on the way. So what you gonna do? Like what what plan could you draw? Could we draw up? <laughs> you know, so we subjugated, man. You can do. Yeah, it's, you step yeah. with that of this 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 circle, if you will, man. Of the uh, of this head job, I tell me, I shot. You you really must commit suicide, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's the point, man. You know, beautiful lesson. You know, the brothers, you know, put together through the spirit that we have about Shema Shah, man. You know, we pray that you brothers, you know, and you sisters edified. You know, so with that, once again, we'll give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well. Being great examples towards younger brothers and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful that shallow one. Y'all hey, brothers, on. stay on for your uh, <laughs>